Hey folks, anybody out there like to read? You like to find a good book, sit down, and engulf yourself and lose yourself for a while? I do too, if the story is good, but it has to really be something I'm interested in. And being a gun type guy, uh, really interested in anything dealing with guns and being prior military, I'm super pro military. I was in the Marines, as everyone knows. And uh, anything that deals with military history or military stories, I'm really, I really get into. Um, but if you like to read or you're interested in that type of stuff and you and you want a really good read, I got a book you guys got to check out. And here it is. It's called American Sniper. Which is written by an old boy named Chris Kyle, and he got he was a Navy SEAL, and he got the distinction of being uh, named the most lethal sniper in U.S. military history. And uh, he, uh, this is an excellent book, folks. Uh, this thing starts right off with the prologue. It gets in, and I mean it right off the bat. He he tells the details about his first shot that he had to take as a sniper. Then, of course, it gives a little bit of background history on him. Uh, this is an autobiography. It's his story. And uh, he grew up in Texas in Midwest. So anybody who grew up in the Midwest, you're really going to relate to that. Um, I mean, that could have been my story. It could have been yours. That was us. I mean, I lost myself. It was like I was reading about myself because that's the way we grew up talking about this and uh, our, the way that he describes it here. This is an excellent book. Uh, it's well written. It's it's riveting and it's very very captivating. You will get lost in this real quick. It doesn't uh, it doesn't take much. It's it's an easy read. It's written very easily to understand, and um, it talks about a lot of his missions that he did when he was over there. Now he did two back to back uh, deployments in Iraqi Freedom, and um, he was so feared by by the resistance over there. They named him the Devil. I think it's called. Al Shaitan, uh, I believe. I don't. I don't speak Arabic, so I don't know. It, it's in here somewhere. It lists in there how to say. I, but I don't know how to say that. But anyway, uh, they uh, also put a bounty on his head. Now, there's been other snipers that have had bounties on their head too, but they, but they put one on his specifically too. Um, very very good book. Uh, I read this thing guys through in one setting, and I was expecting to read a couple of chapters a night for a few nights. It's uh, what is it, a little over 300 pages long. About 370 pages long or so, and a lot of that's took up with some pictures and stuff that's in the middle of the book. Uh, but um, they, uh, I read it in one night. It took about three and a half hours or so. I read it straight through. It's an excellent read. If you like to read and you like stories about the military, especially um, life stories, you will really enjoy this book. This is a well-written book. This guy's been on a couple of news shows. That's how I found it. I think I saw him on. Uh, I want to say it was O'Reilly. Uh, I may have been on that. I was flipping around one night. And he was on there talking about him. And uh, that's how I found out about it. And as soon as uh, I went out the next day and bought the book. Excellent, excellent read. I really highly recommend this if you like to read. American Sniper by Chris Kyle. You'd really enjoy it. Um, oh, got something else too. A few days ago, or my last video, remember, on my ankle holster I was talking to you about. And here it is. I was telling you how the calf, um, the calf strap was a little bit tight. Well, this is what I did to fix that. I went down and I bought some uh, vel some Velcro and some more elastic strap. I'm not going to take it all the way off, but basically I extended it out uh, that far. And so now when I put it around and I hook it on, it's not so tight on my calf. And it's very very comfortable. It's uh, not so loose that the, that the gun slides down or anything, but it's very, very comfortable. That was my only complaint with it, that the calf strap was a little bit tight, but this seems to have fixed it. And uh, so I'm not ever going to take this off. It'll just stay there. And so um, that's the modification I did to it. So if you're interested in this holster and you're worried about that for any reason, being a little bit tight, that's how you can fix it. It's really simple to do. Very, very enjoyable. Still love wearing this holster. It's very, very comfortable. Works with this CLP, the LCP, real good. CLP, <laughs> don't use that no more. Um, now, starting tonight, uh, actually tomorrow night. Well, no, it'll be tonight by the time this video is up, which is Friday night. I'm going to film the first one of those videos I talked about in the last one. There's going to be probably two, maybe three. 
uh, about general knowledge stuff and we're gonna we're just gonna jump off into it uh, talking about some stuff after you pull so people that carry or even if you don't care if you ever have to shoot your gun or if you ever have to pull your firearm on somebody some stuff that you may or may not know uh, and we'll probably jump around it's probably not gonna be set to any one format but I've been kind of collecting my thoughts exactly how I want to approach it and I basically I'm gonna turn the camera on I'll have a firearm here probably not this one this one was in my holster. I took it out before I showed you all that. But it'll have a firearm there just to look at. But you can turn it on, sit back with a glass of tea or something, and just listen to me ramble. So I'm going to film it Friday night, which will probably be tonight by the time this is up. And uh, it'll be up sometime late Friday night or maybe early Saturday morning. My upload speed blows, so we'll just kind of have to wait and see how that goes. But anyway, that's what's coming up, and uh, they're probably going to be a little lengthy, just to let you know ahead of time. And lengthy to me, guys, is 14, 15, 16, 17 minutes along that line. That, to me, is lengthy. And um, like I said, I'll probably jump around, so just bear with me. But this is stuff you've heard me talk about on the channel before. There's some subjects I don't think you can over-talk. And I am not an expert. I do not claim to be an expert in anything. My channel is my opinions based on my experiences and my beliefs some people agree with them some don't and that's fine it's what makes the world go around but until you but if I give out what my opinion is until you can factually prove me wrong whatever that's just your opinion too anyway that's coming up guys it'll be up tonight and with that that's all I got this is just kind of a quick I want to tell you all about this book really think you'll enjoy it um, pick your copy up if you have a Kindle I think it's like 13 bucks download it and start to read it right off the bat or a nook or some other kind of reader that's all i got guys i will see y'all tonight shoot safe shoot when you can later